Hey guys, welcome back. I am going over an 80s look today. This was a ton of fun, more fun than I thought it would be. The 80s was a time of fun. There was crazy new music. There was a lot of color, a lot of experimentation. Michael Jackson, Madonna, Prince, a bunch of other famous icons that we have today. It was all about having fun experimenting color i'm excited to show you how i got the look so if you're interested then let's get to it so we are doing an 80s look today so i did my research i asked around my mom and some people from the 80s to get some advice this decade was definitely a little bit different than other decades that i have done in the past just because there's more information out there about like what type of foundation was used, what eye colors were popular. You know, there's just more information about it in general. So first off, in the 80s, foundation was very skin-like, very dewy, matte just wasn't in. So I'm gonna start off with some primer. This is the Estee Lauder, the Illuminator Radiant Primer. And this is just gonna give my skin a little bit more of a dewy, more glowy finish before I put on foundation. Okay, and my skin gets so red whenever I touch it. Next, I'm actually going to put a little bit of highlight on my cheeks before I put on foundation. I'm using a liquid highlight by NYX. It is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the Sunbeam color. I'm just gonna stick that on my cheeks and up here on my forehead, just to get a nice glowy base just to start. Now that we look like a disco ball, I'm going in with my Sephora Clean Foundation. I'm in the shade number five. Okay, going in with my Kosas Concealer in shade number two. Concealer was used more just around the eye area. So it didn't like go down in a triangle really. Most of the time people just used it just to cover up um, any dark circles or veins around the eye. And next I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter again by NYX and I'm just gonna put that while my skin is still pretty damp from the foundation. I'm just gonna stick this in this area, use my hands to pat it in to get my cheeks a little bit more glowy. I'm not going to use any setting powder. I know it was used sometimes, but I just don't want to take away the glowiness of my skin, so I'm going to skip out on that. I'm going in with an eyebrow pencil next. Eyebrows were very natural and bushy brows were in, so if you had nice thick eyebrows like Brooke Shields, she just had naturally thicker brows, so a lot of people really liked that look. It was more natural looking though, so if you had more thinner brows like me, it wasn't like drawn in as heavily. Um, so what I'm gonna do is brush them up just on the inner corners and do more hair-like strokes here. I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I think another product that would probably be better than this is the, the Gimme Brow or the thinner brow product that they have. So I'm just pretty lightly filling them in and just kind of brushing them out to make them look a little more natural. So being tan was very much in in the 80s, so I'm gonna use bronzer to kind of achieve that look. I know that they use the tanning bed, stayed out in the sun. So tan was, I'm using my NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm just very lightly putting this on kind of everywhere. And just for a more sun-kissed, naturally, like got a little burn or got a little tan look, I'm gonna put it on my nose. On the top of my forehead. A little bit on the sides of my temples. Blush in the 80s was very apparent on the face. It was very bright, very stripey. Very noticeable. The eyes, the lips, and the cheeks were the most noticeable parts of makeup in the 80s. I'm using the NARS blush in shade Dominate, and this is very illuminating, very shimmery, shiny. 
I'm bringing it up in the temple area as well. It's very popular to put your blush up here, you know, bring it up here. This is what blush looked like. It is very illuminating, very striking, very stripey. Okay, for eyes, eyes were very colorful. I'm using my ColourPop It's My Pleasure eyeshadow palette, and this is perfect for like your purples and your pinks. So I'm going for that kind of look. I'm gonna add in some blue. The most popular colors were very bright, but mostly pink and purple and blue for eyeshadow. Obviously brown and like more natural shades were used too, but I wanna go for more of like a iconic, crazy 80s look. So I'm dipping in with Fan Fiction at first, right here at the bottom, and I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my top lid and then bring it kind of like to here. I already used concealer on my lids, so we should be good. And I should mention as well, um, eyeshadow was taken like all the way in the inner corner like this. And a lot of the time it was brought up to the brow bone as well. It was definitely used for like a statement look. Also to note, blending was just not in at the time. And don't worry about blending it into a different color. That just looks crazy to me. My eyes are gonna look so close together. Okay, next I'm going in with Chiclet. It's a really pretty purple color right here and it definitely has like a shiny undertone to it. And I'm gonna pop that on the lids, at the, the edge of the lids. And you can build this color up. But it's a really pretty color. If you look closely, it's very shimmery. Okay, I know I look like I have raccoon eyes, which I do. I'm going in with Kittenfish, which is this, this pink color right here. And I'm using that to just kind of blend the pink and make it look a little more um, opaque. Okay, now I'm going in with Pretty Cruel, which is this color right here, and it's a shimmer color. I'm gonna use that on the brow bone and inner corner. Now I'm taking a blue eyeshadow color, Makeup by Makeup Revolution. This palette is called Reloaded, and I'm taking, using a thinner, more angled brush to do this. I have this blue eyeliner. You can use any blue eyeliner. This is just the only one I have. It's by Pixie in number six, True Teal. And I'm gonna use this on the waterline. Okay, I just curled my lashes and I'm going in with Milk Makeup Waterproof Mascara. Colored mascara was very popular at the time. There was a lot of blues and purple mascara. Probably any color that you could think of. Um, but I'm just sticking with black for today. I think there's enough color going on on my eyes anyways. I'm gonna put on some falsies and I will be right back. Okay, I put on my Twin Pack Ardell lashes and I'm gonna go in next with actually highlighter. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Moon Pearls highlighter and I'm gonna spritz some Fix Plus on it just so it's extra highlighty. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corners again just to brighten it up a little bit more and up on the brow bone. And actually, it was, this was really popular too to bring the inner corner highlight down a little bit. So my lashes are pretty natural. I mean, for false lashes. I've noticed a lot that mascara was definitely used on both top and lower lashes, but a lot of the time the focus for you know, a bright eye look was just more on the shadow and eyelashes weren't as like voluminous. So I'm gonna go in with my Milk Mascara again and just use that on the bottom lashes. Okay, to make my skin look a little bit more skin-like, <laughs> I'm gonna use the ColourPop Freckle Pen and just dot on a couple freckles and I've noticed with this pen you have to you have to blend it in right away with your finger or it can stay darker and look more unnatural okay 
So just a couple freckles. Okay, for lips, I'm going in with Kylie Cosmetics. I'm using like an orange tone. It is, I think it's just shade 22. I'm gonna mix like orange and hot pink together just to see what that looks like. You can see my nails are very neon orange. So this will be interesting. So I'm using the lipstick by Maybelline in the shade 865 in Fuchsia Flash. And it's like very hot pink, kind of like my eyeshadow. Okay, this definitely looks crazy, very 80s. The makeup portion is done. So now we're gonna move on to hair and I'm gonna brush my hair out and kind of experiment a little bit. I've never done what I'm about to do with my hair, so we'll see how it is. It's gonna be real. Okay. I brushed my hair. My hair is just kind of like puffy like this naturally. I'm going, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my entire head. I'm gonna curl my whole head with this type of wand. It gets like thinner at the end. And let's just get to it. Okay, a little top knot. Perfect. Okay, so this is very, very ringlety, tighter curls. That's exactly what you want. And I'm gonna do all of this. Okay, you actually want to hold the straightener kind of like this at an angle. And when you're doing the front pieces, I'm gonna curl towards the bottom more to get like tighter curls. See, kind of like that. And you just wanna pull it like really close to your hairline if you can. And I'm holding for about 12 to 15 seconds. <laughs> and I know that looks crazy, but I'm gonna do the other head. Be right back. This is crazy. Ow, I just burned myself. Okay, so I'm curling like this in the very front pieces. Yes, okay. <laughs> Before we go any further, I need to spray this. Or brushing through my hands with some of the curls and see how it just kind of springs up like this Okay, with all this crazy hair, I'm going to put most of it up. So I'm going to take all of these pieces here All of these pieces Here basically leave the front pieces out. Make sure you have like enough bang Hanging down. Okay, so you just need to brush out the top like that and I'm just gonna separate a couple of these pieces and make them look a little bit more undone. Okay, so I'm going to get another hair elastic and kind of make a, it look like this. So it looks like this right now. And what you wanna do is just kind of get the back and if you can see this, kind of put a hair elastic and make like a bun in the back so that your hair sticks out just like that. And then I'm gonna take um, some bobby pins and just secure them on so that they stay like kind of on top of your head. Kind of like that. Okay, now what you wanna do is just loosely pull on your hair the part that's in the ponytail. You want this part to be pretty loose. Okay, and you also wanna tease your bangs. So I'm gonna start by doing that. So it just has a little more volume. Kind of like that. And even on this side. Okay, and this bow is like a lace kind of fabric. I'm just putting that on my head and putting the hair kind of over it. And you can kind of bobby pin your hair in again. I just finished up. I put on some earrings that I'm pretty sure my mom's from the 80s. I have my necklaces. I put my jean jacket kind of off the shoulders like this. A bunch of different bracelets. I think I'm ready to uh, go to an 80s party. What do you think? Thank you guys so much. I had a lot of fun making this video. More fun than I thought I would, honestly. I just kind of threw some things on, just made up my own look, and I think it turned out pretty accurate to the 80s so let me know what you guys think and we will see you in the next video bye